There are a lot of warnings about drinking and driving, and now UT researchers are raising concerns about drinking and walking. Their study spans five years from 2011 to 2016. It includes more than 11,000 car and pedestrian crashes. Almost a quarter of those deadly crashes, 22% included pedestrians who died with alcohol in their systems. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith spoke to those researchers about how their study can help improve safety on the road. Shannon. John, drunk walking isn't just people bar hopping on a Saturday night. It's a danger to people of all ages, some choosing to walk instead of drive after drinking, but on roads not meant for pedestrians. UT engineering researchers say this data can make roads safer for drivers and walkers. Drunk people get hit by cars, right? An unfortunate problem that got Dr. Chris Cherry thinking. Why is so much education put into drunk driving, but not drunk walking? Pedestrian and bike crashes have really been going up over time, and there's not a lot of answers as to why. So Cherry and PhD student Amin Mohammadi sat down with the data. We studied something that was neglected in the past. Funded by the U.S. Department of Transportation, they looked at car versus pedestrian crashes statewide from 2011 to 2016. There were 11,309. And of the about 100 pedestrians who died every year, Cherry says about 22% of them had a high blood alcohol level. Men were more likely to be hit while walking drunk, as were middle-aged people. Most of these crashes happens during the night. Uh, on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night, the times for fun. Locally, these crashes are not happening in, quote, fun places like downtown Knoxville or Cumberland Avenue. In the old city, if you get hit by a car, you may not die. Why? Because you're on a low-speed street, well lit. It's when people venture onto bigger, darker roadways that things get dangerous. Let's say uh, Chapman Highway or Broadway or maybe Kingston Pike. Walking instead of driving under the influence because we're taught it's the smart thing to do. While controlling your alcohol intake is important, this issue comes down to drivers being extra vigilant for people walking by. Take care of your fellow Knoxvillean. Cherry and Mohammadi hope these findings can help update road systems to make things safer for drivers and pedestrians. Cherry says about 100 pedestrians die in car crashes in Tennessee each year, and that, that's too many. John Robin. Without a doubt. Shannon Smith on the story.